videos welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little different this is going to be my top my favorite my best beauty and makeup items for 2016 these are the items that I probably use the most these are the items that I reach for because I can count on them and they just always work out for me if you watch my tutorials and you kind of probably have already seen most of these items but I just thought it would be kind of fun to come on here and talk to you guys about these items why I like them, where you can get them, how much they cost, and things like that. Um, of course, any information about the products I mentioned will be listed in the description box below, so definitely check it out down there. Scroll up, scroll down, whatever you got to do, but I assure you they will be listed down below. Um, what else? Yes, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And in no particular order, let's get started. So the first thing that caught my eye is the City Color Highlight Trio. Bam! This is a really great highlighter palette. It is super affordable. I haven't been able to find it in... <sighs> I have not been able to find it in a store, but I did purchase mine online and it was well worth it. The color that I am wearing today on my cheeks. Hello! highlight get into it the color I'm wearing is this middle one and it is literally becoming my favorite it's kind of like a rose gold kind of color I feel like I call everything rose gold that's like the buzz the buzz color of the year but it's I don't know how to explain it it's like coppery and rosy and pinky and it is just like look at it it's beautiful but anyway that's what it looks can y'all even see this I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand so you guys can get into that get into that highlight can y'all see that well I tried but anyway that's what I have on my cheeks right now so yes love this highlight palette it is you know a lot of the items that I'm gonna be talking about are drugstore items or like really affordable so you know save your coins or whatever because you can get really great items for you know not a whole lot of money okay so that's one of my favorite items of this year um here let me grab this the next item that I was kind of really surprised about and I kind of just I took a uh, what's the word I'm looking for I took a risk on was the Coastal Sense 252 palette this palette again if you watch my videos you've seen me use it a few times I was really surprised and impressed by it there are 252 colors it comes like this and um there's like another layer beneath and another one underneath and it's just you know great colors lots of mattes lots of shimmers um, some colors show up better than others others take a little bit of work which for I think twenty dollars or something like that off of Amazon who's really complaining um, you can create so many awesome unique colorful bold you know natural bronzy looks with this palette um, it's just a great palette to have if you're just starting out with makeup or if you don't want to spend a lot on your makeup or on your eyeshadow, or if you just want to experiment with different colors and different looks. Um, so yeah, that palette really won me over. Um, like I said, some of the colors show up beautifully and some of the other colors take a little bit of work, but you know, as long as you have a good primer and you can always foil your shadows and all that means is you spray a little bit of water or setting spray on your brush and apply it to your eyes and the colors will show up really well. All right, thing. What's next? Okay, let's talk about this powder. This is the Black Radiance Soft Focus. Soft Focus. <laughs> this is the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. I use it every single time I wear makeup. It just gives my face a flawless finish. It makes my face look like it's airbrushed. My favorite way to use this is after I've done my highlighting and concealing and set with powder, I dust off the powder and then I just buff my face with this powder and everything just like, it's like putting a filter over your face that blends everything together. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay. So that's another one of my favorite items for this year. Okay. So the next item that I have is this e.l.f. blush palette in dark. This is a quad. <laughs> fancy it's four blushes different colors one of them has a bit of shimmer in it one of them is a bit on the peachy side one of them is like a burnt kind of a reddish I think this would be a good color for bronzing and of course this is you know just like your 
standard blush. Um, this is my favorite color right here, as is this, as is this as well. Okay, so I like the palette, okay? I think it's a great blush palette. Elf, don't sleep on Elf. Elf has really amazing products. You just kind of have to know, you just kind of have to experiment. You know, some items are great and some items are not so great, but I've had really good luck with a lot of the Elf items that I purchased this year, so definitely check them out. Again, super affordable, drugstore, you know, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. The colors are great in this blush. They show up. I have, aha, aha, I have on my cheeks this color right here, right now. So yeah. Oh yes, this is the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara from Maybelline. Um, it's bomb. It's bombed. It catches all those little hairs. Like I don't have any lower, I don't have any lashes on my lower lash line, but this mascara right here has me looking like I really got something going on there. So this has been a favorite of mine this year. A lot of these items, truthfully, I had never tried before this year. So that's what's really exciting about this video is that I honestly found these items this year, found these items this year, and they have totally blown me away. Totally, totally. So for years now, I've been using the Bed Night Banana Powder to highlight, to set my face, to bake, and I love it. It's a great powder. But this year, like a couple of months ago, I was like, you know what? I'm running out of my Bed Night Banana Powder. Let me try something new. And if you've been on YouTube or if you watch makeup tutorials, you've certainly heard of this brand and this powder. And it is not the Laura Mercier powder. I'm sorry, it's not what it is. It is the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, and I love it. I love it. It It's just... I don't know what it is. It blends to me better than the banana powder. I like the color. I like the way that it looks on my skin. I like the finish. I like the quantity. I like the price. I like everything about it. This I purchased off of Amazon. I'm not sure where you could get it in store. Maybe in Barbados? I'm not fully sure. But anyway, I this is one of my favorite items this year. <sighs> oh, yes. Okay. So prior to just six months ago, I never really used bronzer. I would just use blush, contour, and just kind of leave it at that. But I picked up the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and I can't put it down. I absolutely love it. It gives my face such like a healthy warmth that seems natural, but at the same time popping. Fix that real quick. Great, beautiful color, super woman of color friendly. They're available in the drugstore. Again, super affordable healthy color you know when you do your like here's the thing when you do foundation all over you do powder all over your face can kind of look flat so what you need to do is sort of bring the dimension back into your face and things like this really help this specifically amazing what else we got what else we got oh this is a new favorite oh and i forgot to mention I have that bronzer on right now like 90 percent of the items i'm going to talk about i probably have on my face right now because I love them that much. Okay, this is a new favorite. I just tried it today for the first time. And these are the Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes. Love them. They're light, they're feathery, they're easy to apply. And while we're talking about lashes, these are the lashes that I've been using basically in all of my tutorials. These are the Momo Lashes. These are the Momo's eyelashes. And they're kind of similar to the Queen Bee's, kind of. But anyway, I like the way that they look on my face and they are affordable and I got them off of Amazon. I'm gonna say probably about six bucks and there's, there's five pairs in there. They're reusable. The band on those lashes are super thick. So it is not for everybody. Personally, I like them. I feel like because the band is thick, it makes it easier for me to apply, but I'm weird. For other people, it might make it harder. But for me, the fact that the band is thick actually makes it easier for me, so. Yeah, check out the Momo Lashes. Definitely cool. I want to say this is a favorite, but I haven't had enough time to play with it. But I kind of feel like I should mention it because I used it today and I was kind of blown away. Okay, I was blown away. I really enjoyed using this palette. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Like, I picked up just the tiniest bit on my brush and it showed up so beautifully. So definitely super pigmented. Literally, I used it today for the first time. I feel like this is a good palette to travel with. 
I also feel like it's missing a black. I know that a lot of like these palettes that are coming out don't have any blacks in them because that's kind of like a basic color and you probably already have that somewhere. But I, if I just wanted to bring just this, I would have to also bring a black eyeshadow. So aside from that, I haven't tried all the colors. I used Cypress Umber, Love Letter, and Vermeer, and they were beautiful. Blended like a dream, showed up so well on my skin. You know, no shade, but not every shadow is going to show up on someone with my skin tone. So if it shows up on me, it's probably going to show up on you. So yeah, I'm really digging this palette. I got it for Christmas, you know, it's a little Christmas present. So um, definitely enjoying that. So while we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, let's talk about this bad boy. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am in love, 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 love with the Juvia Place Masquerade Palette. This was another present that I received um, because apparently I don't buy eyeshadow palettes for myself. Um, but this, again, super pigmented, dreamy colors, bright and colorful colors, but at the same time, you've got some mattes in there. You've got some more subtle colors. You can do so much with this palette. I wouldn't choose this palette to travel with just because, you know, the colors are kind of popping, but I do really enjoy using it to create fun looks, to create subtle looks. <laughs> subtle. I don't remember the last subtle look I created, but that's besides the point. The palette is great. It is, you know, a great brand. I really enjoy it. Everything worked out seamlessly for me. Let's talk about lipsticks. The NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream, which I have on my lip right now, it's a gorgeous red lip gloss. It's in the color Absolute Red. I think it's beautiful. It's a gloss. Um, and it's metallic because I topped it with one of the shadows from the Juvia Space Masquerade palette just to kind of switch it up a bit. My favorite, favorite nude lip combo is to do sort of like a brown lip liner. Put this lipstick on. This is from Maybelline and it is in the color Touchable Taupe. Oh, it's a fantastic nude. And then I like to top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline. Like, once I find something that I like, it is so hard for me to try something new because I'm like, why? It's perfect. So this is my favorite new lip combo. Maybelline Touchable Taupe, NYX Butter Gloss in Praline. Those two together with some brown lip liner. It's just beautiful. Okay, these are kind of like, I mean, they're my fave. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call these items my favorites, but... I do really like them and I use them a lot in my videos. So let's just go ahead and talk about them. We're just gonna run through them really quickly. For setting spray, I like the NYX setting sprays. I like the dewy finish and I like the matte finish setting spray. Tell you the truth, I can't tell the difference between the two. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. You be the judge. All right, um, also the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. Perfect for those with hooded eyes because like there's less chance for when you apply this before applying your shadow. And I also use it to apply glitters and pigments and things of that nature to my eyes. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? This is everybody's favorite, but I might as well talk about it. This is the Fawn Concealer from LA Girl. It's the LA Girl Pro Conceal. LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the color Fawn. I know it's probably totally cliche to use this, but what can I say? It works for me, I like the way that it looks, and I use it all the time. It's late and I'm trying to wrap this video up. What else do I have? Primer, NYX Pore Filler Primer, clutch, keeps you matte, keeps your makeup on, keeps your makeup looking flawless. The L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. I want to say this is a primer. I know that that's what I use it for, but I like it under my makeup. It makes my makeup look smooth AF. Um, and what I also like is when I'm not wearing makeup, I can throw this on with some brows and some lashes for that no makeup makeup look, you know, with some lip gloss. So yeah, this is really great for that as well. Oh, yes. Okay, so this year, not only did I really get into eyeshadow palettes, because prior to that, I was just kind of getting individual eyeshadows, but this year, not only did I get into eyeshadow palettes, but I also got into brushes. So some of my favorite brushes this year came from Morphe, and there are too many to talk about, but let me just grab some of the ones that I used for my makeup today, and, you know, just kind of... Just kind of tell you guys about it a little bit. 
Okay, so some of the brushes that I got, I got probably about 20 different brushes from Morphe, and I love all of them. Actually, I haven't used all of them, that's a lie. But I love about the ones that I've used, I absolutely love. Okay, so let's start with the Morphe M326 brush. This is, you know, it's a great brush. I like to use it to sort of create my cut crease um, because it's small and it picks up product good and it's great for like, you know, carving out that crease area. Next up is the Morphe E27 brush. I love this brush for sort of blending all the colors together or, sort of, or placing my transition color down my transition color down enunciate Tara okay so that's another one of my favorite brushes I like the Morphe M506 also for sort of blending in that you know crease area I also like it for my lower lash line which is what I used it for today I used that red color that I mentioned earlier from the Modern Renaissance palette and I just placed it you know under my eye like so um, this is the Morphe M408 brush it's great for sort of stamping the color down if you don't really want it to go everywhere I use it on my lower lash line then we got the Morphe E36 brush this is another blending brush that I like to use in my crease area I use a lot of different brushes for my crease especially when I'm doing a cut crease because I like my I like it to be seamless. I don't want you to be able to see where one color starts and another one ends. I want it to just be like blown out, okay? And this is the Morphe M156 brush. It's got two heads and I like the skinnier head the best for my inner eye corner. So those are just the ones that I used today that I talked about. And um, that might be all. I'm having a quick look around. To see if there is anything that I did not mention in terms of makeup but I really think that's it because like I said a lot of the items that I'm mentioning are items that I use all the time because I love them so much this is an item that I recently started using it is the Anastasia dip bar pomade in Ebony everybody and their mama knows about it I'm late to the game what can I say I only just started using um, gels for my brows this year before that I was using pencils um, but I like this and I also like the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I think those are really great products and they're probably dupes for one another but I don't want to say that because you know it might not be a dupe but yeah so this is what I use on my brows today and I kind of love it. I do really like the Real Techniques. This is a dirty smudge. I'm not going to show you guys that. <laughs> I do really like the Real Techniques um blending sponge um so yeah and glitters I like glitters apparently I've been using them in some of my tutorials and I can't really say like recommend a specific brand I just know that I've really been into glitters um this year and this is a pack of some of the glitters that I picked up off of Amazon and that's it guys those are some of my favorite beauty items for 2016 let me know in the comments below if you have any of these items and what you think of them let me know if you like this style of videos I kind of want to get into doing more reviews and sort of chit chatty type things I feel like when I'm doing my tutorials I'm so like this is what you got to do that's what you got to do put this shadow here blend it this way pick up this brush like I'm so <laughs> straightforward when it comes to my tutorials but I kind of want to just you know have a little bit more fun with you guys. Anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and until next, have an amazing day.